In Japan, blood types are linked with personality. Someone with one blood type is considered having a completely different personality than somebody with a different blood type. These are Japanese bath salts for people with different blood groups. There are four different types and 30% of Japanese are type O, 40% uh, are type A, 20% are type B, and 10% are type AB. People with blood type O are considered outgoing, energetic, and social. They are the most flexible of the blood types. They easily start up projects, but often have trouble following through because they give up easily. They are flighty and not too dependable. O types always say what's on their mind. They value the opinion of others. They like to be the center of attention. Also, people with O blood type are extremely self-confident. Type O is considered the most average blood type in Japan and probably considered the best type. People with blood type A have a deep-rooted strength that helps them stay calm in crisis when everyone else is panicking. However, that they tend to avoid confrontation and feel very uncomfortable around people. A types are shy, uh, sometimes withdrawn, they seek harmony, they are very polite, but at the same time, uh, they never really fit in with others. Blood type A are very responsible. If there's a job to be done, they prefer to take care of it themselves. These people crave success and are perfectionists. They're also very creative, probably the most artistic of all the blood types, most likely because of their sensitivity. People with blood type A are also likely to be considered classic A types, stressed and conscientious. People with blood type B are considered the most practical of the blood groups. They are specialists in what they do. When they start a project, they spend extra time understanding and trying to follow the directions that others might not. When they're doing something, all of their attention is focused on it. They tend to stick to a goal and follow through to the very end, even if it seems impossible. They tend to be less than cooperative as they like to follow their own rules, their own ideas. They're individualists. B-type people pay attention to their thoughts a little more than their feelings and therefore can sometimes seem uh, cold, serious. They're often considered more relaxed, freewheeling, and unconventional although not necessarily to an unacceptable degree. People with blood type AB are a lot harder to categorize. They have characteristics on both ends of the spectrum at the same time. For instance, they're both shy and outgoing. They easily switch from one opposite to the other. AB people are considered trustworthy and responsible, but they can't handle it when too much is asked of them. They don't mind doing favors or helping out as long as it's on their own conditions. People with this blood type are interested in art, metaphysics, but it's considered in Japan the worst blood type. In predictability loving Japan, they're loose cannons. They also like to set their own conditions and reserve the right to drop out when things don't meet their expectations. They're known to be sensitive and uh, considerate at times, but it just isn't enough to balance out the flaws in this blood type. For a while, some companies in Japan tried dividing their employees into work groups based on blood type, and uh, no one wanted to work with the, with the AB groups. In regards to love and relationships, A is most compatible with A and AB. B is most compatible with B and AB. AB is most compatible with AB, B, A, and O. And O is considered most compatible with O and AB. Now, in addition, 15% of all humans have RH negative blood type. Now, if mankind evolved from the same African ancestor, one would think their blood would be compatible. 
but it's not. It is now a scientifically irrefutable fact that the human species has been found to contain a substantial quantity of DNA from other hominid populations that are not classified as homo sapien, such as Neanderthal, Denisovan, uh, African archaic, homo erectus. If not given drugs to prevent infant death, the pregnant body of a rhesus negative mother will attack and try to reject, even kill her own offspring if it's by a rhesus positive man. Why does the body of an RH negative mother carrying an RH positive child reject her own offspring? My name is Robert Sepper. I'm a formerly educated anthropologist and now author. And I'd like to invite you to explore some of these mysteries with me, which up until recently have eluded any serious consideration in mainstream academia. Species with amnesia, our forgotten history, and gods with amnesia, subterranean worlds of inner earth. Thank you for your continued support. And I look forward to meeting many of you at the coming events in Los Angeles.